Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another playoff hockey game here in Tampare. And if you can believe it, this is the building of our accommodation where our Airbnb is. And this is Nokia Arena. I feel like I'm a VIP, like I'm a professional athlete, comes down the elevator, goes right on the ice. So uh, let's get inside and see the action. All right, so if you can believe it today, guys, Ivana and I are official media members. So everything you've seen up until now was unofficial, but now we mean business. And hopefully <laughs> our boys on the ice mean business because we are back in Nokia Arena, but today we are supporting Tapada, which means battle axe. So we just saw the mascot, he's got a big battle axe in his hands. And I can honestly say I've never seen a team called the Battle Axe. It's a great logo, it's a great mascot. And so hopefully the home team wins because these videos are always better when the home team wins. So uh, let's go find our seats. We've been so kindly invited here by the media crew. And so we got some free tickets and some free gear. And let's go to Para, aka Battle Axe. Alright, so first things first, Team Tapara surely know how to make an entrance because between the lights and the fire and all of the smoke, I thought there might be an emergency evacuation before puck drop here. Now, the national anthem was sung by, I guess, an old school rock and roller who did a pretty great job with a sort of unique rendition, him and his electric guitar. And thanks to the super massive Jumbotron above center ice, we learned that number 73 on our team is from Canada. And it looks like he's the starting right winger. So stay tuned for three or four points from Nicolas Baptiste, born and raised in Ottawa, Canada. And now that we've seen Puck Drop, I guess our boys are in blue and orange, looking something sort of familiar to the Edmonton Oilers. And the enemy today is TPS, I think from Turku, Finland. And they are wearing black and white, looking something similar to Los Angeles Kings. Now, in the Finnish playoffs, I guess the top six teams automatically qualify, where teams seven through nine have to do a small tournament, like a play-in, to see if they qualify. Puck drop, goal scored. One more to go, one. That away, fellas. That away, fellas. Woo! So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the home team, uh, TPS actually qualified for the playoffs in one of those seven to nine sort of play-in tournaments to get into the, uh, whoa, 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 we got some bad blood. Woo. I'm gonna finish my sentence eventually, guys. Give me a minute. We're getting a power play and we're getting a power play hey this game is action right from puck drop oh my gosh i can't even get a sentence out. all right power play here and we're already up a goal this is a great this is a great start watch this watch this Woo! oh the crowd wants another penalty come on five on three in the first we already up sounds good to me Korjataan Tampereen maalin toiseksi syöttäjäksi, 76, Anton! Okay, so my point is, on paper at least, it might look like this series was over before it started because TPS just barely qualified for the playoffs in that little play-in tournament, whereas Tapata is the number one team in the league, fresh off of a championship last year and the year before, and in fact, most championships in league history. So it is interesting that the series right now is tied 2-2. It's very far from over, and effectively, it's sort of a nice puck control, boys. Effectively, it's sort of a three-game series from here on out, meaning first to two victories will advance to the semifinals. So I'm sure all the boys on the ice know uh, how pivotal this game is. And uh, that's why Tapara came out flying. There it is! Come on! Come on! Oh, nice play. Right to the far post. Wow. Tapara came to play. I mean, uh, they are all action from the puck drop here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, how often is a guy right in front of the net with time? We're killing them. Ah. Wow, it's a, it's a great start to the game and a great power play here. Oh, oh my gosh, another great chance towards the net. I can't put the camera down because it's nonstop action. <laughs> there hasn't even been five minutes of hockey play. Hey, yo, and already man. there's four highlights, all of them going towards this end. Come on, Tapara. Way to go, Tapara. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, it's been six minutes of hockey. I'm tired already. <laughs> that was the greatest action back start to a game. I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, first chance for TPS. I think it's the first time the puck's been in our zone. Lucy, save for our goalie. Attaboy. What the heck? Why are the guys with the t-shirt guns wearing sombreros? <laughs> What's that got to do with the battle axe? <laughs> Very Mexican-inspired uh, cool. TV commercial performance on the ice here. <laughs> okay, something new. And honestly, I will say this, although I'm not sure how much of this is just because we scored so early, but uh, the Tapada Ultras, they seem to be the most into it and the most loud that we've seen so far in Finland, honestly. Now, maybe that's because we scored the first minute and a half, but uh, they haven't stopped chanting and jumping and just going wild the whole game. So, like we usually say here in Finland, shout out to the Ultras, because it makes the experience as a fan so much better to, to hear them the whole game. Our goalie sort of caught it and dropped it by accident. Oh, we almost got a fight happening here. Gloves are on. Gloves are on. No one's getting suspended just yet. But they are grabbing face masks. And they are... Uh, oh! Oh! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no way! Oh, yeah! Ah! Is that Steve on the back? You got it's a Steve Anybody? Oh, it's so good! Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Woo! Oh. How about that, everybody? We got some jerseys. Obviously, we gotta put the jerseys on right now. Uh, I will say, everybody in the rows in front of us looking at us, they can be embarrassed, but so nice. I will say this, the mascot is very intimidating with the battle axe. But when he came over here, no battle axe, very friendly. Very friendly. Put on Gotta put it on, Imana. Must wear. Orange jersey. Thank you so much, uh, Tapara. Woohoo! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bang! Oh, nice catch, goalie. Great save. And the gifts keep coming down, oh boy. Some for me and some for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. More pass, more pass. There it is. Ah. I'll tell you what, I gotta give a shout out to their goalie. He's made five or six good saves. Not that our goalie hasn't, but quite honestly, our goalie hasn't because he hasn't he's, had five or six shots yet. He's just chilling. He's just chilling down here. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. We're cheering. Because rather than a penalty, that guy got kicked out of the game. I think he made a body check that was like an elbow to the head or something. So uh, his night's over early. It's gotta be frustrating for him, but the crowd loves it. Here it is, here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. It, it doesn't look good. I mean, quite often in slow motion, it always looks really bad, but that one didn't look pretty, so. He's hitting the showers early. And so just like that, yet again, we are on the power play. And it's a five minute power play. Oh, this is not gonna be pretty for TPS because what it means is if we score, they're still shorthanded. The penalty won't end with a goal. So this could be uh, a big lead here. This is our opportunity. Alright, there you have it. With a very
very depressing end of the period sound. <laughs> Let's go for a beer. All right, so first things first, Ivana, you look like a million bucks. <laughs> I can only hope I look half as good as you yeah, in our you new do. jerseys with names oh on the back. Gosh, Scarf and this. hat, media pass and beer. Woo. Is this the best day of my life? Now, when we just scored there, I may stand corrected. It's possible that Golden Helmet just shot it right in, but it almost looked like he shot it with the intention of being tipped. And I gotta confess to the audience, because in our first game, like three weeks ago in Finland, I didn't know what the Golden Helmet was, and the audience explained to me that mm -hmm. it's the leading point scorer. And I thought to myself, that is the lamest thing I've ever heard in my life. I thought in Canada, we would never allow that to happen. I thought, how did Finnish people let this pass? In their league, it's so lame to have a shiny helmet for the good player. Let me tell you something. I didn't say anything in the videos or in the live streams or in the comments. I didn't say that I thought it was so lame because I've learned enough about myself to know sometimes the thing I hate the most turns out to be the thing I love the most in the end. And I gotta tell you, as someone who doesn't know the players out there, the golden helmet is so helpful. I love the golden helmet. Don't you find it nice, Ivana? Mm -hmm. Because whenever something's going on and you see the shiny helmet, you know, hey, this could be an opportunity. I am so pro golden helmet, which is a big change from three <laughs> weeks ago when I was like, shiny helmets, oh my gosh. And so in any case, uh, we're up to nothing and it could easily be more coming soon because we got this never ending power play. I think it's still two and a half minutes left. So, uh, tapara, jerseys, goals, shiny helmets playing good. Life is good at Nokia Arena. Oh. I'll sell for you. What? Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Auntie. Auntie, thank you so much. So you're a fan? Yeah, I'm you're a fan. From here in Tampere. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, to be clear, this is not official. This is just a lovely fan, local guy, who says, I gotta upgrade you one more time. Check this out. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> oh, the best. Thank you so much, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah. Absolutely the best. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate no it. No problem. And I'm a goalie as well as you are. Uh, <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. All the best guys are always goalies, and everybody knows it. Okay, cheers. cheers, cheers. Have a nice Thank you so much. You guys won't believe it. They just walked up, hooked us up with glasses, and hit the road. Amazing. <laughs> best guy ever. Ante. Best guy ever. All right. Second period is underway. And we are glad to have made some friends in the intermission, some friendly characters. And in fact, there are a lot of uh, groovy looking people here in the stands. Lots of good uniforms and good outfits and good supporters. So hopefully we can get another goal before this power play is over. We got about, I guess about two minutes left now. Ah, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a penalty. So now we got some good old fashioned four on four hockey here. Oh my gosh. Our goalie was looking left and the puck was going right. Tell you what, it's not going to be easy to be our goalie because he's been standing still getting cold for the whole first period, almost no action. And so if TPS can put together a few good chances, we'll see if he's uh, if he's fresh and ready or if he's half asleep. It can be tough to be a goalie because you don't know when the action's going to come. And in fact, now we're actually shorthanded. Oh, good chance. Oh, darn it. Damn. And what do you know, the golden helmet was on the ice for that one. Oh, that was a nice pass across and a shot right from the slot. Alright, 2-1. Hey, we got ourselves a game. It's not over yet. Ah, tough save for the goalie. Tough save. Just a bit of a screen in the last second. Darn. Here we go, here we go. Golden helmet. There it is, look at that little gift, look at that gift. Oh, the extra pass, good try. Good try, but it was uh, maybe one pass too many. And I tell you what, big fan, big fan of the Tapara Ultras. They are non-stop as we come back on the attack here. Oh, tell you what, this is a good game to watch. Oh. What was that all about? These two guys got tangled up with almost like an accident. I actually don't know if the penalties are us or them. We had the puck, no? It must be on them. I don't think so, because they're going wild over there. So I think we're getting the penalty. Oh, they had the 
Sure has a penalty. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit of a homer. Okay. And listen. When you give me, when you give me free shirt and free hat, you buy my loyalty. <laughs> and so anyway, we're shorthanded again here. Tampere, kolme toista, Valtteri, Kiviainen. Oh, that's a nice save by the goalie. That's tough to squeeze that rebound in your elbow. That puck drops out, it's going to the net. That's a good job by our goalie to suck that in. Oh yeah, right now we got competing cheers. The right and the left are doing two different cheers, trying to drown out the other. And I will give credit to TPS fans because uh, they got a much smaller cheering section, but they're still pretty loud. Nice save by our goalie. Listen, he didn't do much in the first period, but he is alive and awake, and he is ready in the second year. Great save by our goalie, and of course, their golden helmet was in on the play again. By the way, boys. Penalty's over. Five on five, even strength. This will be our last chance at the net before. Perfect time for a whistle. Five on five. I'll tell you what, our goalie is sharp. A lot of good saves and no rebounds. Tapada, tapada, tapada. Yeah, bring on the seniors. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A little check in on the scores here. IFK is winning, so that series is not over yet. They were down 3 nothing. They might come back from a 3 nothing deficit. We'll see. I'll tell you what, TPS has turned it on in a second because it seems like they might have had more scoring chances in the second so far, whereas we were all over them in the first. Nice job. Here we go. Bring yourself on a two on one. Ah, three on two, three on two. Oh my gosh, short side top corner. I thought that was in. Oh. High stick, high stick. Now in the NHL, if you're bleeding, it's four minutes. And if you're not bleeding, it's two minutes. I'm not sure if it's the same rule in the uh, finished league here. And it is the same rule. So it's a four minute power play for us. This is a big opportunity. Another goal here changes the game. And we got four minutes. Best case scenario, we score in the first two minutes to keep uh, the power play alive. This is a big opportunity here. You can hear the ultras getting ready for it. Come on, fellas. Here it is. Not yet, not yet. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Just like we drew it up in practice, baby. Right to the far post. One more. Put these boys away. Ah, uh, we're getting a, we're getting a slash, or maybe an interference call. Chop the guy, stick it out of his hands. Oh no, that was my Canadian comrade. Oops. Oh, check it out, everybody. Thanks to the lovely Ivana, we have spotted the sauna, which is way up there in the top corner. Those boys behind that glass are in the sauna. And I think you can even sit in the sauna and watch the game from the sauna. Which, could there be a more Finnish experience than being in the sauna watching professional hockey? In Canada, I've never seen that. I, I can't say for certain it doesn't exist, but I've never seen it. Nice save, bully. Actually, the most Finnish thing you can do would be in the sauna, watching the game, eating salmiaki.
That would be the, that would be peak finish experience. Sal Miyake in the sauna at the rink at the goal. Oh, oh, nice try. I think that might have been a really great defensive play by the defenseman to tie us up as we were trying to pull to our backhands. Oh yeah, love that. Got a hook and penalty with five seconds left in the period. So we're gonna start the third on a power play for nearly a full two minutes. Wait a second. I don't know what just happened there, but we got, we got a five on three for a full two minutes. Uh, this is gonna be a great start to the third. They got two penalties, two separate penalties at the same time. Hey, I'll take it. All right, so second intermission is actually almost over because we bumped into like 10 people who are still friendly to us. Uh, it's great to dress up like this because everyone can recognize you and everyone comes around here talking about the rivalry of Tapara and Ilves. Everyone says, it's so good you're at the proper team. Because they <laughs> saw the video on Tuesday and they said, it's the wrong Tapara team. So uh, you can really feel the rivalry. And breaking news, unfortunate news, we've already booked tomorrow we're going to Sweden on the ferry. But I think we have to come back to Finland before the playoffs are over. My dream would be if Tapara and Ilves are in the finals against each other. I believe there'd be a seven game series in one arena. We could stay here and watch every game. That's my goal. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but I think regardless of we get the dream matchup, I think we gotta come back to Finland for the finals because this series of hockey videos has been so good. We got so many friends coming up and so many opportunities and uh, it's a shame we're leaving, but it's all kind of booked in advance. And so I think we'll be back. What do you say, Ivana? Maybe sure. two weeks in Sweden, do a bunch of hockey videos in Sweden so we can keep the hockey theme and then come back to Finland for the finals. Sure. That's my goal. That's good. Imagine these two teams that hate each other in the finals. Both, both sides would be going crazy on the ultras. That would be my dream. Right. Anyway, it's the third period. Let's get out there. Now you got the proper gear on. That's what I'm saying. Now you got the proper gear on. <laughs> the timing is perfect. Last time, uh, too much yellow and green. Yeah. Now you're looking decent. I know. You're the fifth or maybe the tenth person to say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think so. Yeah. All right, so we missed the start of the third. But no problem because the Jumbotron is so big. Look at this, looks like I got front row seats here in the alleyway. And it is a five on three, so not the best hockey to miss. My mistake, but I got too many friends I'm meeting with there. Couldn't get away, oh! Too many friendly finished faces. Triple F, in the net, in the net. Ah. Ah. Bang! Ah. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job on the five on three. Chance. No, five on five. Well, sorry for missing everybody, but I was distracted in the hallway because so many friendly Finnish faces. Triple F. And so it's a 3 1 game. It's not exactly a safe lead. Ay, caramba! Ah! So now it's a one goal lead, which is uh, anybody's game. And of course, Golden Helmet in on the play. Golden Helmet, and then I think the puck hit a D-man in front and sat right down. Or maybe our goalie gave up a rebound. Tough to say. Yeah, I think it got, it got blocked and fell right to there, guys. Bit of a lucky goal, but in any case, it's 3-2, and we got ourselves uh, High intensity hockey here. As you can tell from the ultras going wild. <laughs> They're loud, man. They're loud. Nice play, kiddo. Nice play. Oh, that was a full body poke check, man. Third period, game five. It's a questionable call. 
I tell you what, bring on the Mexicans. <laughs> I still have no idea why the guys are Mexican. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. There, the lucky fan. <laughs> Tappara, kolme kymmentä, kolme, pelimatti, mittasmäki, kaksi minuuttia, estäminen. Aika, 46, 15. Tell you what, power play is almost over, and almost nothing happened, so we, we got away with one there. There you go, guys out of the box. Tappara, tappara, tappara. Tell you what, the intensity level is going up. Both in the ultras and in the fans, but also on the ice. It's getting more and more aggressive. And I think the refs will probably not call as many penalties now because we got about 10 minutes left in the third. And penalties going to change the game. So it's going to get progressively more and more aggressive. And the refs are going to let the boys play. I bet. Tapara, right from puck drop till the end. Uh, five goals is no joke. Obviously one empty netter, but still, five goals is five goals. Season four with an empty netter. Great game. Ottelu kolmas tähdeksi on tänään valittu Tappara 30, Christian Elianko. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, mascot of the year. He's on the net in front of the ultras. Oh, what a guy. Great job, oh, great job. <laughs> great job from the mascot. Can't 
beat it. Go ahead, go ahead. But it was great to see you. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem, mate. Cheers. Stay cool, bros. Cheers. Yeah, you too, you too. All right, there you have it, everybody. Yeah, cheers, thanks. All right, there you have it, everybody. Uh, the game was a victory for the home team, which is the most important thing. Want to give a huge shout out to our new gear picked up from the uh, media personnel here at Capara. I think I'm saying the name of the team wrong, but I'm a big fan because it's emphasis on the first syllable. Capara. I'm saying Capara. Ay, caramba. Anyway, it was a great game, and I really hope that. Tapara and Ilves make it to the finals. I want to come here for a seven game series in Nokia Arena and I want to make seven videos. It's going to be amazing. Good game, no? Yes. One more win and semi finals. Tapara. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, later, everybody.